Hello everybody, today we are doing a 15 minute all standing core and arm workout. You are gonna need some weights today. Today I'm using a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but you can use whatever you have access to at home. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, today's workout is a no repeat workout. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you can see your screen. You're gonna start off having one arm up with the dumbbell. The other arm is out to the side, taking opposite leg. You're gonna bring it up, meeting the elbow and the knee in the center and back down. So focusing on that crunch, squeezing that core, bringing that knee up in front of you and reaching that elbow towards the knee. Make sure when you bring the dumbbell back up, you're not locking out the elbow here. Keep a slight bend. Nice job, taking a 15 second rest. You're gonna switch the dumbbell into the other arm. We're gonna do the other side. Keep everything nice and strong. Take it nice and slow if you need to. Nice job taking a 15 second rest. You're gonna need both dumbbells. We are going to do a bicep curl, except you're gonna hold one arm at 90 degrees. You're gonna do 30 seconds of curls on one arm, hold 30 seconds of curls on the other. Here we go. So holding, keeping the elbow locked. Good, switching arms. Good, we're gonna drop one weight. You're gonna hold the dumbbell in both arms. Hands above your head. Again, slight bend in your elbows always when the dumbbell is above your head. You're gonna march, bringing the knees up the front. And then as you march, you're gonna bring the dumbbell down in front of that knee and back up. So you're gonna feel that core engage as you bring the dumbbell down. Keep your back nice and straight, chest is open. Good, we are going to stick with our one dumbbell. You're gonna put it down on the ground in between your feet. We're gonna do some alternating single arm back rows. So, one arm's out to the side, nice flat back. Bring the dumbbell up, row, 
switch, row. Really squeeze that lat. Make sure that arm is coming directly out from your shoulder. We are going to stick with one dumbbell once again, holding it in both hands. We're gonna do one side at a time. You're gonna start with your right leg back, bring it in for a crunch, back down, then this time bringing opposite elbow, so left elbow to right knee, and back down. We're doing these nice, slow and controlled, exhaling as you crunch. Give yourself a 15 second breather. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this time left leg is behind. Crunching. And then right elbow to left knee. Good, picking up your other dumbbell. We're gonna do some narrow shoulder presses, so palms facing each other. And as you press, you're going to twist. Bring it down. Press and twist. So we're not locking the elbow out at the top. We're taking these controlled, but when we press it up, it's more of an explosive movement, so you feel that in your core. Just make sure you're controlling on the way down. Good, hanging on to both dumbbells. Next up, you're going to do a bent over row. So hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knees, back is straight. Bring the elbows back. Then from here, hold those elbows where they are, extending the lower half of the arm for a tricep extension. Bring it in and lower. Good. 
You can drop those weights, give yourself a quick rest. We are going to do some cross body punches next with a twist. You can either use your weights or do this without weights. If you're trying it with weight and you just feel like it's too much or you feel like you might injure yourself, please do not use the weight. So we're twisting, keeping a slight bend in that elbow when you punch. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. Dropping one dumbbell. Again, holding the dumbbell in both hands. You're gonna stand shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Slight bend in your knees. You're going to drop the dumbbell to one side, bring it back to center. So almost like we're doing Russian twist on the floor, but we're standing. If you're not feeling it in your core, think about moving the dumbbell in a figure eight motion. So you're scooping it back, bring it back around to center. Nice job. Next up, nice and simple, you're gonna grab both of your weights and we're gonna do some hammer curls. So palms facing each other. Get nice and grounded in those feet. Core is tight, shoulders back. Bring your dumbbells up and control lower down. Take these nice and slow. Make sure you're extending your elbow all the way at the bottom. Make sure you're not swinging your body to get the dumbbells up. Everything is still except for those arms. Good, quick rest. You're gonna need both of those dumbbells next. You're going to have palms facing forward and you're gonna bring one arm up and across, back down, up and across. So you might feel this in your shoulders, in your chest, maybe a little bit in your core. Shoulders should stay facing the front. We're not twisting as we're doing this. The only thing that's moving is the arm. Good. Almost there, you can drop one dumbbell, holding the dumbbell in both hands. You're going to take a bend, almost like a full squat. You can go into a full squat if you want. Coming down, and then you're going to come up, twisting, bringing the dumbbell above head. Back down, and twist. Really squeeze that core as you twist.
Nice job. All right, last exercise. We're gonna work on our obliques. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. You're going to, holding the dumbbell in your right hand, you're gonna to bend to the right. Coming back up, dumbbell comes above head. Lean to the left and up. When you bring the dumbbell up and you're leaning this way, this dumbbell should stay directly out from your shoulder, directly up to the ceiling and drop. When you're coming down this way, dumbbells a little bit in front of your leg rather than directly to the side. You wanna hit those obliques. So up and bend. Good, left side. Last 10 seconds. And that is it guys. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this combo workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments and if you'd like to see more of this specific style. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.